Ah, hey. This Hearthstone video is sponsored by Cats. Crash Arena Turbo Stars. Do you like mad science and creating crazy fighting machines? Then you should try out Crash Arena for Android and iOS. You play as a mean street kitten and fight against real players with a car you build customized from a huge array of weapons and body types. Can you break the cat's meta with your unique creation? Will you join or create the fiercest cat gang around? And of course, you can customize your driver appearance so you can be one cool cat. Be among the first 5,000 people to download the game using the link below and get a huge starting boost. The Madman! So Rogue used to be a bad matchup, but their teeth have been, what's the word? They have been detoothed a little bit, defanged. Kingsbane Rogue. What's the matchup like here? Hmm. Uh, I'll save this. I'll take the damage. I could have just sent the 1 1 in, but it's like, eh. It can be good to be below this amount of health, I guess is the reasoning. My hand is full. Oof. Oh crap. Well, fortunately we lost two non-essential cards. It's the full combo. Oh. It's missing the battle rage for the full combo. It's gotta not lose Dead Man's hand. Hmm. Didn't play it. Interesting. Becoming Garrosh is like, my hero power is better than Garrosh in this matchup. But I do have to play Garrosh at some point. Didn't mill the dead man's hand, so we're okay. My mother does love this fact. Interesting turn due to having to waste a bunch of resources. And thinking about whether or not to how many cards to draw. Six, eight, seven. This goal really is to cycle as much as possible right now, so I can start Cold Light Oracling as sapply.
think our end game goal might be to get a hand of. We definitely need to make sure to not have brawls in the deck. We could start dead manning handing right now while well, my deck is good. Good question mark. One of the complicated things about this uh, matchup, I mean, there are a lot of things that are complicated about it, but one of the complicated things about it is that I'm going to need to... use both brawls. I knew it from the beginning that using the brawls would have been pretty tough. I cannot shuffle the brawls in, otherwise I'm certain to lose. Uh. I must choose. It was a rough time, man. Rough time. Yeah, I guess I should have saved the sentry so I can soft brawl. Let's see, I don't want to shuffle the second brawl either. But now I think I at least can do it. I mean, it would be too slow to not shuffle this in right now. That's like, goal number one, get rid of all the brawls. Oh, let's get that it. Oh, crap. Eat that. <laughs> eh, that's fine. That's actually good for me. I mean, he's got a cold light in there. I probably shouldn't have drawn the card there. But I wanted to draw more. I can get more bring it ons, I guess. My mother does love this okay, well, we are, uh, we are actually advancing. Due to managing to get both rolls out of my hand. And while I'm at it, I can also get rid of the E fish. And let us DMH. I 
If he can only hit me for 12 a turn, uh, we can get somewhere. Like, my initial... a lot of this initial part has just been, I need to do some setup. He's setting up also. We need to thin our deck of this trash. I'm almost out of cards. I can set it up, so that I'm playing two bring it ons in cold light each round. Three, five, seven, nine. We just need to get rid of the fishes first. Oops, missed one. Whatever. Alright, so I don't want that many bring it ons. I want two of them, I think. Actually, it's it's kind of confusing what I want. I believe I don't want to sleep with the fishes anymore. Let me just think. Two squid faces, captain. Yeah. Or this one. I must choose. Now, how many bring it on is too many bring it on before I start diluting the cold light oracles? I think we'll just shuffle all of it. It's pretty close. I'm out of cards. This is basically a uh, slave aspire now. The first part is to stabilize so that I'm gaining health rather than losing it. I'll play this first. The 2 1 versus the 2 2 doesn't matter. Making progress. And also, the cold bites themselves will probably do something. We don't want to have Battle Rage in this deck. We don't have that many Battle Rage for sure. Alright, so right now I'm diluting my Battle Rage, is the idea here. Eventually we'll want to not have that many Bring It On. In fact, this is four Bring It On, is that fine? I guess that's okay. Right now the more important part is stabilizing, than going for it. So, let's focus on defense now. Basically, in Slave the Spire, I have the barricade ability, and my armor carries over each round. The first step is making sure the Battle Rage is out of this deck, at last. Alright, so I'll dilute the Battle Rages by Dead Man. And we can't afford that two mana. Oh, lethal. Uh, perfectly planned? It's Warlock. My best matchup? I just need to find a way to deal with that Rin. I feel like I'm getting unlucky, though. I keep pulling the Cold Light Oracle. There, there is another way to deal with Rin. I'm... 
Which I'm considering, which is just dirty riding it, but that's not guaranteed anyway. Anyways, I should be able to get a favorable win rate against Azari in general. Against a Warlock in general. I get Azari all the time too, never lucky. Something something. I'd consider running a silence. But it feels bad to run a silence exactly for Rin, the one card I'm scared of. I don't think there's even anything else in this meta of silence. I mean, there's a lot of different decks out there, so way too early to say something like that. Given that I hold two whirlwinds, I guess I'll hold the weapon. Usually it's right to just make that have the whirlwind effect. Oh, it's the cube version. That means we don't have to worry about Rin. So this is the target audience for this deck. And the Geist will get rid of the Pact also, removing Burst, but right now I should be playing this. Next turn I probably play Geist. This one is the auto win. I have to lose two whirlwinds, but oh well. Okay, we got our cold light. That's good. Let's use it. Is it nine? Good place, Courage Lord Garrosh. Doesn't do much right now. My hand is too full. So I can use Battle Rage to draw three. I can use it to draw four. I'll play Bring It On, I guess. Nice little raptors. The really efficient turn of doing stuff. My hand is too full. I bring light and hmm, this seems fun. Oops, I was staring at my phone. What did I mill? I thought everyone was complimenting me on my play, but everyone was saying nice in chat. Well, we still don't have a what did I mill feature. I milled skull. Ah, good stuff. Cuban skull. Okay, that's pretty good. That is my execute card. I've already used an execute. I could brawl. I have another brawl. Seems right. I do have to save a brawl for the obvious card. I'll kill that to lower the chance of me overdrawing. 
Uh, does it matter if I overdraw? There's one card I don't want to overdraw in that deck. And that's There's two cards I don't want to overdraw. Brawl and Cold Dead Oracle. There's also the question of, should I play this if I have the chance of overdrawing? And I think it's right to. Side effects? No. Trust me. Well, gonna do the overdraw thing. Cool. Oh, got my cold butt. Okay, well. We're going to just win the game without milling him. I mean, without escalating the draw then. So what I need to do is shuffle Acolyte of Pain. So this turn should be my turn to dump all the cards I don't need in the shuffle. That would probably be Cornered Sentry and Dry Whisker Armor. I won't be needing those. Because I don't have Battle Ridge. And I'll want to toss a Sleep with the Fishes also. Since that's too many fishes. Mm, not necessarily true though, because next turn you could play Gold Dog. And I might want to cast the Fishes. I think I played the Blood Razor since I am getting ready. And I will lose the charge on this, that's fine. I know that looks like a waste, but it's good to get this set up. Just preempting all the lol. Lost durability, wall, etc. Okay. So this is the turn to use the brawl. That means no brawl in the reshuffle, but that's okay. And then I'll just carry fishes and execute as my removal moving forward. If I didn't uh, lose the durability on this, I wouldn't have. Well, I don't want to acolyte now, though. The so shuffle will look something like Armor Smith. No, not Armor Smith. Do I want acolyte of pain in the shuffle? Yes. Because I need a way to draw cards for myself. Don't want this. Do you want that? And I want everything else. And I can use this to draw a card immediately. But I have another Acolyte of Pain in my deck, so I can just do that later. I execute now, I have another execute in there. Interesting. I mean, the important thing is to keep spending mana efficiently. Do I want a DMH right now? No. <laughs> Alright, that could have been done better. A lot of decisions to make pretty fast. I'm out of cards. So, I would like to not kill this. But that's not possible. I can shuffle two fishes in. Is that good? Time that's probably passes. fine. It's okay in this spot, I should say. And then I want to draw one more card. But having the whirlwind effect for free is good. Nah, it's not that good. I would like the card. Nah, I'll keep the attack. Attack's worth more than the card, maybe.
The nice thing about fishes over Brawl is you can have as many fishes as you want and just cast them. Is he finally going to kill his own cube? Alright. Got my executes then. And we'll probably not even use them. I'll just fish three times. Although I need to use the executes, otherwise I'll get buried in executes. I guess... Stuff can always be killed for damage later. That should be fish, 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 fish. This way I don't have any dead cards in my deck. <laughs> oh no! 